Good morning, folks. Following yesterday's M-Class solar flare, the sun appears poised to be active again today. These are the ingredients for more Uyen storm formation here on Earth. So far, most of the flaring has been at that same spot on the departing limb, but we also need to monitor the lone Earth-facing sunspot group. Positivity is building back at the northern edges of the central negative umbras, and it appears to be tossing plasma around like it's about to have a temper tantrum. Then, of course, there's also the long plasma filament sitting directly south of that active region. The rope is nearly 100,000 miles long and presents today's Earth-directed eruption threat, along with the sunspots to the north. Solar wind is very calm right now. All is normal. Earth's magnetosphere is unperturbed and standing strong. The southern negative corona hole begins facing Earth today, ramping up the quake watch in a few hours. Dark patches incoming are that coronal field opening. The leading edge is moderately forceful, but behind that lies major power in red. While we wait for the quake uptick, our top rumbles the last day took place in the western Pacific, but most interestingly was a slightly less magnitude rumble way out of place in the Northeast Caribbean. Anything above 4 is worthy of mention there. Quick article update. Interesting bit on meteorology of other worlds. How we'll examine and monitor weather changes on exoplanets. No trick zone taking jabs at the mainstream climate propaganda while making undeniable points about temperature collection. And to complement that, we have the 2014 Senate Minority Report. FYI, the observers tend to agree with the science behind these arguments, but not that we need to let polluters off the chain. Plenty of reasons besides climate to keep our world clean. So we already saw the Indian Ocean Cyclone, but all that flaring demands more. We got it. The first western Pacific storm of the season is running right at the Philippines, making that area one of the top watch zones for the coming earthquake uptick. In the United States, we still have this minor collision of air masses in the desert, moisture stream across the north making snow and an awkward but powerful convergence in the east. Those areas take tonight's top alerts from NOAA here. In Europe, it's much of the same story as the UK gets in the mix with a strength and low out to sea while those same flows as yesterday remain cresting onto land, wrapping up and around widely. Purple are your top precipitation zones tonight. Down under, note the low between nations. If you can't see the convergence line up the eastern portion of Australia, the precipitable water overlay should help elucidate tonight's thunderstorm warnings. Got your current conditions? Shots of our star to close. 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.15 a.m. Mountain. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.